That's it right now, Tina. What's up, YouTube? This is Crime Spatcher back with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about Need for Speed. As I like to call it, the bum dum dum da 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 dum. One of my favorite games that I used to play back on GameCube. Some of you may know what a GameCube is, some of you may not. Hey, if you don't know what a GameCube is, try it. You'll love it. Get a group of friends. Do that right now. Like as in like right now. Get your GameCube. It shouldn't even cost that much. Just get you one. Get you Need for Speed Underground, play it, you got to try it. This game is one of the classes. I can never forget Underground. I can never forget it because Need for Speed was one of those games that I truly, truly enjoyed. And I was having bad days and good days. I would always come back home and play Need for Speed Underground. I mean, come on. What's not to love? When you first start the game, you hear that bum dum dum. That's enough right there to get me hyped up for the game. That's, that's enough to get me hyped up. And I'm already rocking with it. You know, I'm, I'm down. Like, Need for Speed is just one of those games that I, I'm really down with. And the question I'm really here to ask is, what happened to Need for Speed? After Underground, they had uh, they had more games out there. You know, they had Carbon, Pro Street, yeah, un Undercover, then Most Wanted. You know, games like that. Not to mention that, in this video, I won't be covering every single Need for Speed because there's, like, a lot of Need for Speed games. But we'll be talking about a general most of Need for Speed games. Preferably the ones that I played. I want to talk about the ones that I haven't played because like sometime like maybe after 2007-2008 I kind of dropped off on the Need for Speed games and all racing games in general. Uh, I used to really love racing games and honestly I still do enjoy racing games. I still do. I still play games. I play games like Burnout and things like that. Like, I still enjoy racing games. It's just I don't know. I'm not sure what went differently. Like what happened to me differently during my time of playing racing games and what made me change my perspective of racing games. It's not like I didn't enjoy racing games, but I did enjoy racing games as much as I used to enjoy racing games. I still enjoy them, but it's not like I can sit at and play a racing game for a really, 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 really long time without, without having to stop. Like, like I can't do that now. Like, if I play a racing game, yeah, I play for maybe a good, maybe two hours, three hours, four hours or so straight. But like after that, like eventually I'm gonna wanna play something different. I don't know, I don't know. Like back then when I was young, maybe like 10, 12 years old, I was like, yeah, Need for Speed Young Cup, man, I could play it all day, every day of the week. I wouldn't have to play anything else. And it's like, whatever wouldn't have wrong? Like what what started happening? Like, was there more games that I started to enjoy way more than racing games? I have no idea what went wrong. But I don't know, but that, that's a lot of questions that I had to ask about myself about that. Like, why do I not play as many racing games as I used to? Like, they still make racing games, but like, is racing games really as popular as they was back during the time when Need for Speed Undercover came out? If I had to put my own opinion into it, just saying that, yeah, I don't think they are, you know? Maybe just the times of gaming you now, you got games like Fortnite and Battle Royale games taking over and things like that. Even before that, to be honest. You know, racing games were like, it wasn't sad. they're not dying. I won't, I won't say they're dying, dying, but you know, they're just not as popular as they were back in the day. And then the question is like, whatever went wrong? Whatever happened? And I was, I don't know. I was wondering about that. And, you know, I just don't really see as many racing games as I used to anymore. I didn't look at E3 this year, so honestly, I don't know if they announced any racing games this year. But usually, they uh, Xbox always announces that one racing game. That's um for for I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that and look stupid. I refuse. You guys know what I'm talking about. The Xbox game, that racing game, Xbox always announces that they E3. I'm not sure if they announced it this year because I didn't look at E3. And yeah, like it's just. Need for Speed was one of those games. I, was, I, really, I did play Pro Street as well. As you see right here, I really enjoyed that game as well. Like, as I said, it was like, this, it's, this is right here around the time. Like, Pro Street and, and the cover, I played that. And then, I, I don't know, I fell off. I'm not sure what caused the fell off. I don't know why I fell off the way I fell off. But it happened, though. I just wasn't feeling playing Need for Speed like I used to. But like I said, maybe maybe because I was getting older. Maybe 
Maybe I just wasn't in playing. I maybe I wasn't enjoying. Maybe I wanted to try new things. It's probably it. I say it like that. I wanted to try different games, probably, and it led to me enjoying other games more than I did racing games. So, hey, you know, time goes by. You know, you get older and things happen. Don't get me wrong. I always come back to a good racing game when it really comes down to it. Cause I don't know. I just always enjoy racing games. Racing games always give me a a thrill. You know, like that moment. You know, like. That rush when you're racing down a race and you're neck and neck with another person, and it's like you're, you're right there. Who's gonna take the last lap and win? And it's like when well, you got the right soundtrack for these games, you know, it, it means a lot to racing games when they got the right soundtrack. <laughs> like, look on the cover. I never ever forgot about that. Dum dum dum. Like, I never forget about that. Every time I hear that song, I always think it needs to be undercover. You know, that's what I'm saying. Soundtracks on racing games actually mean a lot, you know. If the, racing, if the racing track game has a really good soundtrack, then it's going to be something to be memorable by. If the racing game has like more than that, you know, maybe maybe like extra stuff or things like that, or maybe new things that no racing games ever had before, that also has a big influence on how popular the racing game can be. But as I saw, I came, I came across to this and I started thinking about racing games. When I thought about racing games, first game came to my mind was Need for Speed. Need for Speed is one of those really, really popular franchise games that you just can't forget about, you know? Like, even if years go by, one day when you see a racing game, you're just gonna look at that and you're gonna think about Need for Speed. Because Need for Speed was just that popular of a racing game. So many people play Need for Speed. And I'm not even really sure if they still make Need for Speed games. Because I actually did some research on that, and I seem to have made a Need for Speed an Need for Speed game since 2017. So I'm not really sure what happened between. I'm not sure what's going on until it's 2018. Now it's 2019. So what's going on? Like where is the Need for Speed games? I need answers though. Need for Speed, where are you, Need for Speed? Like. What is going on with Need for Speed? And if I had to really take a guess, is that I just feel like Need for Speed is just not in demand as what it used to be. Maybe sales aren't cutting it. But I find it hard to believe though, because even though this day of time, people, many people still play Need for Speed games. And it's like, what what happened to Need for Speed? What, what made them not make any games for so long? It's been since, what, 2017 since this last game. So now it's 2019. Ooh, it's been two years now. What's going on, Need for Speed? And I, I, you know, I just got curious, just wonder what's going on with Need for Speed, and Need for Speed was one of those games. It needs, it needs to come back, you know. Need for Speed is one of those games that I expect to last a very, very long time, you know. And it needs to come back, cause honestly, I want to get back into Need for Speed. Now I think about buying the 2017 version of Need for Speed. Was it Payback? I think, yeah, to Payback. I think about buying that, playing that. I haven't played Need for Speed since like Undercover. That's that's a long, long, long time. And I've been thinking about getting back into Need for Speed because, like, as we all realize nowadays, that game production hasn't been top quality lately. As we can all see, all these battle royale games. I mean, some battle royale games they work. You know, look at Fortnite. Look how successful Fortnite is, but. Personally, I don't play Fortnite. I'm not really a Fortnite person. I just don't play Fortnite. I have nothing against Fortnite. I just don't find Fortnite interesting, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, it's like... Need for Speed? Need for Speed can really thrive in a game time like this, you know? Because games now are just not as, not as good as they were back before. Like back like 2013, 2012, 2011. Like, it's not as good back then. Like production nowadays and games seem very lazy, very quick. Just trying to make a game and make it sell, you know. And like the sad part is, is like most games are drop betas, and the game is not even complete. It has, it's just like you can just tell it's not even been tested for the bugs and glitches and things like that. So when the game actually does come out, the games have so many problems and flaws that it, it's. You know, it's crazy, like, and then, like, they have to release, like, three, four updates before the game's actually fixed and the game's actually together. And it's, it's, like, it's crazy. And racing games, and racing games is one of those games that they may not be as popular right now as the other genres of other games, but racing games, I just feel like they're never going to truly, truly die out. Racing games are always going to stay there. Like, there's always going to be a large group of people who's going to still love playing racing games because racing games are just more interesting, you know? The tracks, the thrill of the race, 
you know, the cool cars you can have and get, the running out the run away from the cops and things like that, customizing your car, you know, doing races with your friends and it's, it just doesn't stop, you know, it's a lot of things you can do now. And like I'm not sure what any of the new features that are not added to the Need for Speed games. So I'm not gonna sit here and make anything up about them. But Need for Speed, I'm pretty sure they added like tons and tons of new features. And I really I really gotta get back into Need for Speed. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think Need for Speed game I should get back into if I really decide. I haven't played Need for Speed since Need for Speed Undercover. So like <laughs> what game y'all think Need for Speed game y'all think I should start from to get back into Need for Speed. Because I don't know, I really am want to get back into racing games. And it's like racing games is one of those things I, I always truly love and I just not gonna ever fall out of it. But Need for Speed, uh, what, what's going on with Need for Speed? Like, what, what's happening? Like, why are they not making any games? I don't know. Maybe, maybe sales just weren't as good on the 2017 game as they expected them to be. So now, like, I don't know, money flow, cash flow is not as, is not enough to make another game. I hope that's not the case. I hope Need for Speed are just holding out and then trying to wait and make a greater, greater Need for Speed game. You know, I really want them to make another Need for Speed Undercover. Three, it's gotta happen, man. Need for Speed on the cover three, it's gotta happen, bro. I'm still wishing for it in 2019, even though the game came back on like what 20, 2003, 2004. Like, dude, that was like so long ago, and I'm still wishing for Need for Speed on the cover three. I'm still waiting for it, bro. And they gotta throw back on my song, it's gotta go. I'm waiting for it. You guys tell me down in the comments is what you think should come in Need for Speed to make the game even greater than what it already is. I feel like Need for Speed is ready. It needs to come back. We need Need for Speed. I have the need for speed. Okay, that was a terrible joke. But anyways, I still have the need to play Need for Speed. And need to see some more gameplay. I need to see so much more need for speed. I need more cars. I need, there's been so many new cars that came out, racing cars that came out and then new, it's so much new stuff that Need for Speed can do. Where are they Need for Speed? If somebody truly knows what happened Need for Speed, put that in the comment section below. Well, tell me what you think about Need for Speed. Is Need for Speed Undercover your favorite Need for Speed game? Is there a non Need for Speed game that's one of your favorite games? You guys put that down in the comment section below. Tell me what you truly think about what is going on with the genres of racing games. Is racing games dying? Are they still thriving just as well as they did back in the day? Is Need for Speed games going to come even greater than before? Or is Need for Speed games are going to just die out? Or are they destined to die out? I don't know. I have, I have faith in racing games. I feel like racing games can still make it. I feel like it could still do so much more. If you guys disagree with me, tell me down in the comment section. Tell me down what you think about how the games are today. Are the games are just production getting worse and worse every year? Are they getting more and more lazy or are they getting better? Tell me down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.